All right, so today we're going to talk about the two biggest issues I see with Alma, not just me personally, but I see people talking about. Now, I am quite surprised when I look at my catalog of videos, the ones I make where I talk about Alma, Headway, like these kind of um, startup companies that help therapists get credentialed and things, these tend to be my most popular videos. So this, I would imagine, means that people want to know about Alma and Headway, and, and I'm happy to talk about it from a consumer perspective. They don't pay me to make these videos. They don't work with me in that regard on any of my videos here on the channel. If that was to happen, you would know about it. Um, and today I wanted to talk about the two biggest gripes that people are always complaining about. The first one is that they don't get enough referrals as being listed on their directory. And number two is Alma's response time to problems and issues that they have. I want to talk a little bit about those ways around it and what I hope Alma will do in the future considering they're hopefully watching this. Um, so let's talk about the first one, and that is not getting enough referrals. So Alma does, um, when you sign up with Alma, you do have the option to be listed on their member directory. Now, if you've been with Alma a little while, um, oh, several years ago, the directory had less therapists on it, all right? This is just a made-up number, but let's say uh, several years ago, there's 300 therapists on there, right? And then a client comes to look for a provider on Alma. They only have 300 providers to choose from, right? So you're more likely to get selected and you're more likely to have someone have their eyes on you um, and then kind of reach out to you for a consult. Alma, and I don't know how many people are signed up with Alma, right? I have no idea, but I know it's grown I would imagine exponentially over the last several years, they do a lot of marketing. They're a big, they're a fairly large company, right? So the amount of therapists now listed on the directory is huge. Is that's my? I'm guessing it's in the thousands. All right, now if not more than that, it might be tens of thousands. But what that means is when a potential uh, person goes to look for therapy, there's a much larger sea of therapists. You're less likely to be selected, right? So I think people are usually wanting to know, like, why is that happening? That's one of my inferences is that there's just a lot of providers now on Alma. Um, so the chances of you being selected or being seen are probably less. That doesn't mean Alma is not an effective directory. I do get fairly consistent referrals from Alma and their directory. I find it to be a, a, an effective directory to be listed on for sure. Um, but one thing I always tell people that I'm working with is a directory is never your magic bullet. All right? So don't depend on it. Um, don't put all your eggs in that basket. Just put a few eggs in that basket. Um, spread out your marketing strategies across different areas and mediums, directories, um, you can think about Google ads and SEO. Those are more expensive. Um, networking, right? But you want to kind of, again, just spread out your marketing strategies. You, you can, if you're like a solo practitioner, you can probably depend simply on directories, but be listed on a few, all right? So spread that out. Uh, but that's one of the major issues that people talk about. Um, but that's an issue that's going to happen with any directory, no matter what, okay? Um, number two is Alma's response time. And I'm guessing it is related to the growth um, that they, you know, the amount of therapists that are on their platform and reaching out for issues. Now that one, I'm not a, uh, I'm not a tech person. I am not a problem solver in that space. Um, but I do know that at this time there seems to be like two, three, four, maybe even longer day lag between when someone asks a question and then you get a response. Um, and for a lot of therapists, they need questions answered now. Um, now, I know that's not realistic. We can't have a live chat person all the time, right? But uh, most of us as therapists, right? I just ran into the issue the other day. Um, a client has benefits that are not being verified. They're telling me they, they do have the benefits and, and I need someone on the other end to verify the benefits. Um, and you don't get someone back to you for three days, right? You, you miss that appointment or you take the risk of having that appointment go uncovered. Not great for you, not great for the therapist. Now, now there's ways to kind of work around this, but for many of us signing up for the platform, you you're, you're paying for and you're hoping that Alma or Headway for that matter, they're going to do what they say they do, which is the verification of benefits, um, right? And that's just one example of kind of why you might need support quickly. So I'm hoping that that area, now it's not a deal breaker, all right? Um, it's definitely not a deal breaker. Most of these companies that are growing at that speed have uh, very long response times for support. Um, 
this is why I think it's important to be connected to a community of people that could perhaps problem solve with you and for you. So a lot of questions people are asking to Alma can probably be answered by other therapists who've done it before, right? Unless it's specifically related to Alma and their platform. Um, there's a lot of questions people are asking that I know I could help answer. I know other therapists can help answer. And so being involved in other communities that you can ask that question to are crucial. One of the greatest communities you can be a part of, and this is a shameless plug, is the community that I've been hosting. Um, it's a private practice consultation community, however you want to describe it. Uh, within that community, we do live group coaching calls. Um, we've now uh, uh, rolled out a gamified version of the community. That's optional, but you can um, kind of do weekly challenges and win prizes. And um, I, the the most, uh, I think, the most helpful feature is that whenever you ask a question inside that community, I personally review it and respond to it directly. Um, so if you want to sign up for that, you can. The link is down below in the description. You can have the first month totally free. Uh, the code is free month. That'll be in the description too. Um, but regardless of whether it's my community or another community, um, being connected to another community could help you answer questions. Um, and I think that's because a lot of the problems people run into are insurance related or billing related, and not all of them are dependent on the platform, like Alma's platform. All right. So um, for now, that is something that we are kind of dealing with at Alma. I am imagining they're working on that. Um, and I'm just trying to think of, of ways that that could be improved. Um, I wish that they had a phone number, you know, like you can call someone. Um, and again, this is not my area of expertise, but Alma, if you're watching this, uh, we're hoping that you can get the response time down. Um, maybe there's like a prioritization if there's like urgent issues and then non-urgent, uh, maybe that's a way to kind of filter it out. Um, but overall, I do think Alma is a good platform, especially if you're just starting out. Uh, you want to grow your practice. You want um, to be credentialed. You want to take insurance and you want billing to be fairly seamless. Um, but don't, uh, you know, the directory is not going to be a magic bullet and the res the uh, customer support um, you're, as it stands today, what, May 15, 2024, um, you know, you are going to have to wait a couple of days when you ask questions. Um, but anyway, I hope you found this helpful. And uh, yeah, I make videos like this all the time and I will see you in the next video.